Today we're going to talk about Libretto 001, which is a phase 1-2 trial of selporcatinib, a selective RET inhibitor for patients with RET-altered cancers. As a bit of background, RET fusions are drivers of oncogenesis in papillary thyroid cancers and non-small cell lung cancers, and RET mutations are drivers of oncogenesis in thyroid cancers, like medullary thyroid cancers. While the trial treated all of these patients, and to date it's treated 531 patients, this particular presentation focused on the activity of the drug in RET fusion positive non-small cell lung cancers. RET fusions are found in up to 2% of non-small cell lung cancers, but when you look at the global incidence of lung cancer, the absolute number of cases are actually substantial, meaning that this is definitely an unmet need, and to date we don't have a targeted therapy that's approved for RET fusion positive lung cancers. Now, the Libretto trial looked at the first 105 RET fusion positive non-small cell lung cancer patients that previously received a platinum doublet chemotherapy. And so this was the registrational primary analysis set that was decided upon in collaboration with the US FDA. And looking at that population, we'll note that the objective response rate with selporcatinib is 68% with deep responses to therapy and confirmed complete responses to this treatment. In addition, we also looked at the intracranial response rate in patients with baseline brain metastases that had measurable target lesions. And in this population, the objective response rate in the CNS was 91%. Moving on to durability, the median duration of response was in excess of 20 months and the median progression-free survival was in the excess of 18 months. Now, we also, in this presentation, look at patients who are treatment-naive, so patients with advanced disease who had not gotten a prior systemic therapy for their cancer. And in this population of 34 patients uh, who were evaluable for response, the objective response rate was 85%, so even higher than in the primary analysis set of post-platinum doublet patients. So I think this is a win uh, for patients in terms of activity, uh, and the drug is being submitted for a new drug application at the end of this year, following a prior breakthrough designation that was granted by the FDA, both actually for lung cancers and for thyroid cancers.